Hi everyone, welcome to this video that will explain you briefly how to get started on VoIP programming in .NET languages, including C Sharp, C++, Visual Basic, and so on. After watching this tutorial, you will find out all the necessary tasks you need to do to get ready for creating your own VoIP application. VoIP technology provides a cost-effective way to upgrade your good old PBX systems. If you want to replace your traditional phone system into a VoIP one, you can purchase an IP PBX or you can implement some VoIP functionalities into your existing phone system. You will see that it doesn't require any special programming skills if you want to build your own VoIP application, such as a soft phone, an IVR, or even a PBX. The best way for creating any VoIP application is using a VoIP development kit. Such a VoIP toolkit as Ozaki VoIP Civ SDK provides a first-rate technology for any VoIP development. To use this SDK, a basic programming knowledge is enough since it provides the base for the VoIP solution you are working on. Instead of wasting time for long development process on your own, you can take advantage on this software development kit. Integrated it to your own program will provide instant VoIP ability. Let's see what you need for VoIP programming in .NET languages. A Windows PC with broadband internet connection. A microphone and headphone or speakers or a headset attached to your PC. An IDE such as Microsoft Visual Studio installed on your PC. Please note that for Visual Studio, at least .NET Frameworks 3.5 or any newer version is needed. A VoIP toolkit such as Ozaki VoIP Civ SDK installed on your PC is also a requirement. After you have obtained and installed all of them, start programming by launching your Visual Studio. First of all, create a new project. Click on File, then New Project. Select the Visual C Sharp Console Application option. Specify a name for your project and click on the OK button. Now you need to add the necessary VoIP components to your references in order to be able to define the default behavior of the preferred VoIP application in the simplest way. Right-click on References, select the Add References option, browse the VoIPSDK.dll file that can be found where the SDK has been installed to. Select the DLL and click on the OK button. Hereby, your system is ready to develop any VoIP application. For free example projects with step-by-step -step tutorials and free source code, it is highly recommended to check the developer's guide of Ozaki VoIP Civ SDK. Just open www.voip-sip-sdk.com, hold the mouse on manual, then select the developer's guide. And finally, select the preferred VoIP application and follow the instructions. To sum it up, Ozaki VoIP Sip SDK provides background support for your VoIP projects by authoring pre-written VoIP components to your development environment. Download the trial version of Ozaki VoIP Sip SDK free of charge from www.voip-sip-sdk.com. For more information, please visit our website or send an email to info at voip-tip-sdk.com. Thank you for your attention.